any packages in the car you want me to bring in for you, Dad? No, thanks, son. No. Dinner ready? It will be in a minute, dear. Mr. B? Wait a minute. Mr. B, there's only four more shopping days left till Christmas. The news media have informed me of that fact. You ain't gonna let Christmas go by without buying Missy a present, are you? Hazel, we've already decided not to give each other anything. But she already got you a present before you sprung this on her. Well, then I'll just have to tell you to tell her to take it back and get a refund. She can. They're initialed. <laughs> okay, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll buy her a toaster. We need a new one anyway. A toaster? <laughs> Hazel, do you realize how many women in this country would be tickled to death to get a new toaster for Christmas? I bet Mr. Knoll ain't buying his wife a toaster. Hazel, I am not interested in what Harry Knoll buys his wife. You make more money than he does. I've said my last word on the subject. You understand? Yes, sir. I never thought Mr. B turned out to be a Scrooge. <laughs> Now, dear friends, let us wish you a Merry Christmas from all the cast and crew. And until this same time next week. If you folks ain't listening to nothing special, I got a wonderful idea. Oh, what, Hazel? Well, it's something we ought to do around this house. Why don't we all sit and listen while Mr. B reads us the Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens? <laughs> you know? About mean old Mr. Scrooge and Tiny Tim and then and, and the spirit of Christmas? I heard it this afternoon on TV. Oh, I've heard it so often I could recite it backwards. It was a nice thought, Hazel, but frankly. Well, Hazel, I guess your propaganda's fallen on deaf ears. <laughs> George, do me a favor, will you, pal? Keep this package for me at your house. It's Rita's mink coat. Well, why my house? My bride can look at a package from 30 paces and tell what's inside it. X-ray eyes. And if that fails, well, there's always shape, rattle, and bounce. And if that doesn't work, they poke a finger in the corner. <laughs> well, I want this to be a real surprise. I got her a big bottle of perfume for a decoy so she won't be expecting anything else. Okay, I'll have Dorothy tuck it away somewhere. Uh-uh. Not a word to Dorothy about this, or Hazel. I'd trust them both with my life, but not with a secret like this. Oh, uh, make out a check for Mr. Butterworth for 50 bucks before you leave. What for? Party for the office staff tomorrow. I thought we decided last year... We'll keep it under control. Harry, I've already given my secretary. Argue about it with the man. Harry. Harry? Harry, come back here. He went out the door, Mr. Baxter. Oh, where are you going? Oh, Mr. Butterworth said we girls could leave early. I'm going to get my hair done. Oh, and spend that beautiful check you gave me. Well, Mr. Griffin will be here at 5 o'clock. Mr. Baxter, tomorrow's Christmas Eve. I've got to get my hair done. <laughs> okay. Run along. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, would you mind turning the lights out on the tree when you leave? Oh, isn't it sweet? Oh. I just adore Christmas, don't you? All that lovely loot. <laughs> lovely loot. Metal tree. Can music. Mr. B, this is your last chance. Go away. Well, how's Missy going to feel when all the other wives show what their husbands gave them? Go away. But, M Mr. B, there's a real pretty negligee I want you to get at Blackstone's for. Dorothy! She ain't here. She and Harold went shopping early, so they'd be there when the store opened. Shopping for what? A present for the Dorfmans. I thought we told all the adults on our list we weren't exchanging gifts this year. Well, maybe she forgot to tell them, or, or maybe they just didn't pay any attention. Anyway, they gave us a solid silver cheese knife. I give up. I give up. It's the kind of blue that brings out the color in her eyes, Mr. B. A blue cheese knife? No. <laughs> The negligee I want you to get for Missy. It's at, at, at Blackstone's on the second floor. I already bought her a toaster. But I can take it back, Mr. B. It wouldn't be no trouble. They can't stay in there all day. I'm waiting right out here for you, Mr. B. But, Mr. B, 